Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. I'm the Beer Dude. As you guys can see, this video is gonna be a little bit different. Today, I wanna do two things. The first one is, I wanna have a beer talk with you guys. And the second thing is, I just wanna enjoy this coffee. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right guys, so there is one main thing I do wanna talk about in this video, and that is, is there an unspoken beer code? We'll get to that shortly, but first thing I wanna talk about is embracing your beard. That's right, as simple as it sounds, some of you may not even appreciate the very beard you're growing out. Many of us are focusing on having that perfect beard, that perfect, that beard you look at, you're like, that is the perfect beard I want. But I'll tell you this, there is no perfect beard because there's always gonna be a bigger, longer, I mean, there's always gonna be that other beard that you see, you're like, that's the beard I want, or that's the one I want. And the biggest thing is coming to realizations that although that could be your goal, your beard may never look like that. And that is the honest truth is that you just need to embrace your particular beard. I actually did a review on this similar and at the very end of that video, it got kind of cut off. So basically this is just kind of reamping what I was trying to say in that video. And that is basically you are unique. So you need to embrace your own beard. And you also need to realize that you will go through awkward stages where you feel like, you know what, this is it. I'm shaving this beard off and I'm done. Don't do that. Put the clippers down, put the scissors down. It will get better and you will get past that. Prior to me making this channel, I actually grew out my beard and it was actually shorter than this. And I honestly didn't think it can get any better because at that point, it was kind of mangled this way, going, th I mean, it was a mess and honestly, I gave up. I really did. I shaved it off and I started back from scratch thinking that maybe when I grow, regrow it out, it'll grow better. And eventually I got back to that same stage where I'm like, ah, oh, great. Here we go again. What am I going to do now? And you know what I did? I let it do its thing. I just let it continue growing. I just went through that stage and you know what? It got better. And that is just one thing for you guys is that many, many times is that you get to that point where you feel like this is it. It's not going to get any better. It's not going to grow the way I want it to grow. And you guys completely cut it off. So here's a tip for that is that if you get to that point where it's just not going the way you want it to go, rather than completely shaving it off, either you're comfortable with yourself, maybe you just need a trim or if you're not comfortable, Go to your local barber. A lot of times that's what it is, is that you may just need a shape up. And before you know it, you're back on the road or you're happy again. And you also gotta realize that a lot of times your beard may not look like the next person's beard and that is okay, that is okay. You have your own unique beard, embrace your own beard. My beard may never look like somebody else that I admire and that's okay. That's what makes beards a wonderful thing that everybody has a different unique beard. You don't know what kind of potential you have until you really let it grow. Now some of you may not even want it to grow to this length or, or anything like that and that's okay. Grow it to whatever length you feel most comfortable with and rock it. Embrace it. This is your beard. Cheers to that. Now, what is this unspoken beard code that I speak of? Well, the other day, so the other day I was at the gas station, I was pumping gas and I look over to my right and I see one of those water stations and this dude turns around and this guy had this big old Viking beard and I'm like, whoa, that is badass. So it was a little awkward because I'm staring at him and he's staring at me and we're having like this stare off and I'm just looking at him he's looking at me but no word was said no nothing he turned around I turned around and I started thinking is there a code is there let me ask you this if you see another bearded brother or another bearded person with a big old viking beard or any kind of beard that you actually admire or like do you say something about it like do you acknowledge it do you go hey man I like your beard or hey dude I like your beard do you acknowledge it do you do like a, a head nod i mean is there a code for that i know in the sports world if you're rocking a, a certain jersey and you see somebody else with that jersey you guys usually acknowledge each other but in the beard community is there such a thing because i feel like there should be i feel like there should be some kind of acknowledgement saying hey man i like your beard or maybe even just a a nod something maybe there is maybe i just haven't found it maybe i don't know about it but there if there isn't wouldn't it be cool to if you see another beard brother and you're like, you just made that sign or not even a sign, just 
a little head nod just acknowledging that you guys both are like the same thing so comment down below guys if you were to run into another beer person would you acknowledge it and if so what would you say or do i'm very very curious to see where you guys take on this is but that's basically it guys i just wanted to have a beer talk with you guys drink some coffee along the way let me know if you guys also like this type of content i may be doing these once a month or so uh if you haven't subscribed subscribe down below but until next video beer dude out <laughs>